Hello students, I hope you are all fine and in good health. In this audio presentation, I will discuss stanza wise uh, the poem Childhood, which is written by Marcus Natten. So, as you can see at the top, it is written Childhood poem stanza wise explanation. So, dear students, let me at first read out the first stanza and then I will move on to the explanation part. See, it is written. When did my childhood go? There is a interrogative sign. Was it the day I ceased to be 11 when I was no longer 11 years old? Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography and therefore could not be? Was that the day? That means uh, the poet, he was not sure, rather to say, he is making some assumptions and throughout the entire poem he made several assumptions. This is the first answer. Here we find that he is making some assumptions. He is thinking that perhaps he lost his childhood when he was no longer 11 years old. This is assumption number one as you can say. And uh, again he was thinking that uh, when he realized that hell and heaven, uh, these are imaginary things. They don't have any real location. They don't have any real existence at all. And the uh, in the geography books, he haven't found any place like hell and heaven. So when this realization came to his mind that hell and heaven are imaginary places which have no connection with reality, perhaps at that moment he lost his childhood. See, when did my childhood go? Was it the day I ceased to be 11? That means when I was no longer 11 years old. Was it the time I realized that hell and heaven could not be found in geography? Could not be found in geography means could not be found in geography books and therefore could not be. Was that the day? That means he was not sure and as I told you a bit earlier that he made several assumptions. So in the first answer, two assumptions were made that when he ceased to be 11, when he was no longer 11 years old, perhaps at that juncture he lost his childhood or when he realized that hell and heaven are practically imaginary places. They don't have any existence at all. In reality and uh, the location of these places are not found in the geography books so when this realization came to his mind perhaps as an assumption he thought that maybe at that moment only he lost his childhood so some word meanings are important go means end cease to be it means stopped being and realized it means understood now uh, let us come to the explanation part related with stanza number one. The poet wonders when he lost his childhood. He is wondering, he is making some assumptions in his own mind. He reflects that perhaps it was the day when he crossed the age of 11. When he ceased to be 11 means when he was no longer 11 years old. Perhaps at that juncture he lost his childhood. When this realization came that... Perhaps when I was no longer 11 years old, perhaps at that moment I lost my childhood. Maybe it was the stage when he realized that the concepts of hell and heaven, about which he had been taught since his childhood, did not exist in reality. Now from his childhood, he was being taught about the existence of hell and heaven. But as he grew up, as he became educated, as he went on learning geography, he realized that practically there are no places like hell and heaven. So I repeat, when he realized that the concepts of hell and heaven about which he had been taught since his childhood did not exist in reality. They don't have any uh, real existence. So when he realized that hell and heaven doesn't have any real existence at that moment only 
perhaps he was no longer a child. When he realized that Helen Haven could not be found in the geography books, perhaps at that moment only he realized that he had lost his childhood. Geography textbooks did not give the location of any such places. Yes, I already told you that when he became educated, or rather to say when he became enlightened, and when he went through several geography books, he haven't found the existence of hell and heaven. Geography textbooks did not give the location of any such places. The poet realizes that he might have lost his childhood when he gained his rational outlook due to getting educated. Obviously, when he was educated, when he received higher education, he became enlightened. And as he became enlightened, he realized that hell and heaven practically they don't have in existence at all. Or in other words, they are imaginary places not to be found in any of the textbooks of geography. So when this realization came, perhaps at that moment he lost his childhood. Now dear students, I am moving on to stanza number 2. In stanza number 2 also, there is some assumptions. Again, it started in the same way, in the similar fashion in which stanza number 1 had started. See, when did my childhood go? And two lines are common, the first line and the last line of the stanza number 2 because the first line and the last line of stanza number 1 was also same. So I repeat, when did my childhood go? Was it the time I realized that adults were not all they seemed to be? That means when uh, I realized that the adults, they were hypocrites, they are mean-minded creatures. They talk about love, they preach of love, but they don't act so lovingly. Maybe at that stage only he realized that he had lost his childhood. So I repeat, when did my childhood go? Was it the time I realized that adults were not all they seemed to be? They talked of love, very important line dear students. They talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly. Was that the day? That means when he realized the actual nature of the adults, that the adults, they were mean-minded, they are hypocrites, they actually uh, talk of love, they talk of brotherhood, they talk of kindness, they talk of generosity. But when the real situation come, related with their own affairs, they exactly do differently. They don't preach the same thing. So... They talk of love and priest of love, but they did not act so lovingly. They, gave, they give lectures on love, generosity, harmony and brotherhood. But in reality, they are exactly different from what they actually uh, uh, profess or rather to say what exactly they say. They never commit to that. So when this realization came regarding the true nature of the adults, perhaps at that moment, he is uh, guessing that he had lost his childhood. So I repeat, when did my childhood go? Was it the time I realized that adults were not all they seemed to be? They talked of love and preached of love, but did not act so lovingly. Was that the day? Now few word meanings are important. Seemed means appeared. Priest means taught. Act means behave. Lovingly means with compassion or love for others. Actually, the adults, they, they talk about love. They preach about love and harmony and brotherhood. But when the real situation arrives, they don't act so lovingly. They are hypocrites. They are mean-minded. So when their true colors, their actual face behind the marks, when it was exposed to the poet, Perhaps he realized that he had lost his childhood at that stage of his life. When he actually realized or when the actual exposure of the mean-minded and hypocritical nature of the adults, it was displayed or when the entire thing was exposed uh, to him or in front of his eyes, when he realized the true nature, the mean-minded and hypocritical nature of the adults, 
then only at that stage of his life he had lost his childhood so let us come to the explanation part dear students in this stanza the poet reflects that maybe the loss of childhood occurred when he was able to see through the hypocrisy of adults when he was able to see through the real nature of the adults the hypocrisy the mean mindedness of the adults when their actual true face was exposed to him perhaps at that juncture or at that moment only perhaps he had lost his childhood when the actual nature and the behavioral traits of the adults were exposed in front of his eyes related with their hypocritical and mean minded nature perhaps at that juncture he lost his childhood these people followed double standards these people means these adults they they talk about something but when the real action comes they preach uh, they talk they preach about something but when the real thing comes on them to execute it they don't execute it in that way they execute it in a completely different manner so this shows that <clears throat> the adults they are double standards they follow double standards actually following and preaching different standards of behavior the adults actually they were following and likewise they were preaching different standards of behavior they told the poet to be loving and caring however they themselves were argumentative violent and discourteous now they actually advised the poet and uh, people like the poet that they have to be in harmony with others their nature had to be loving they had to be caring uh, but when the real situation comes related to them or related to their execution on their part they are very argumentative they are very violent and discourteous their behavior was a far cry from the love they harmonized about and advocated so reverently to the child now their actual behavior is a far cry i mean it's totally different it's like a metamorphosis a 360 degree change in their attitude in their mentality it's a far cry from the love they actually prophesized or sermonized and uh, they so much advocated but in reality they are totally different so the two lines of the poem that is uh, the line this one they talked of love and priest of love but did not act so lovingly is very very important because see uh, actually uh, they they advised the poet along with others like him that it is always necessary to stay in love to be loving and caring uh, towards others but when their actual situation comes related to them when the execution is concerned related to them they are totally dip- different from what they actually preach or prophets now why they are different because they seem to be argumentative they seem to be discourteous they seem to be rude and they seem to be violent but every time they talk of love then they preach of love but when the real situation comes as i told earlier they don't act so lovingly so this actually shows or this actually proves to us they are double standard mentality that they are mean minded creatures they are hypocrites also at the same time and when this realization came to the mind of the poet perhaps at that time he had lost his childhood so i continue their behavior was a far cry from the love they sermonized about and advocated so reverently to the child perhaps says the poet recognizing broken trust was a major step towards adulthood so that trust the trust was broken and obviously when the poet was successfully able to recognize or when the entire truth related with the real nature of the adults were exposed to him perhaps at that juncture or perhaps at that moment he had lost his childhood and he had taken a major leap or a major step towards the world of the adults or rather to say towards the world of experience from innocence now dear students i am moving on to the third stanza again it started with the similar line uh, 
and again at the end also we find the lines are similar as we have found in the previous two stanzas so see it is written when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i prefer or i choose producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine alone was that the day that means again he was making some assumptions now here he made a very important assumptions that when he was able to control his own thoughts when he became rational when he doesn't need suggestions and advices from others when he can execute his own thought process when he can execute his own advices and decisions on his own without the help of the others when he can actually manipulate when he can control when he can use his mind in what whichever and whatever way he prefer or he choose maybe at that moment only he had lost his childhood when he realized that yes he was no longer a child previously he used to take advices and decisions from others but now he can decide on his own he doesn't need advice of others he can take advice from his own mind okay so when he realized that yes now i can manipulate and control my own thought processes that at that moment only he realized that he had lost his childhood when uh, his mind is his own and he can use it in whichever way he prefers or in whichever way he chooses he has his own uh, personality he gathered his own uh, thought process he can uh, actually uh, uh, take judgment on his own he can realize which things are good and which things are bad which things he should follow and which things he should avoid so when all these rules and regulations he can uh, commit on his own definitely by taking help of his mature mind at that stage of his life he realized that he was no longer a child because now he can execute his own plans in his own way by using his own thought process by using his own mind by using his own creativity so obviously when uh, when he realized that he can use his mind's creativity in its in his own way without taking advice from others he can actually follow his own mind his own thought process maybe at that moment only he had lost his childhood this line this stanza is very very important very very important i repeat once again when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i choose yes i can use my mind i can execute my thoughts in whichever way i prefer in whichever way i choose i don't need the help and advice that i used to take previously when i was a small child and now i don't need those help now i don't need those advice i can actually help myself i can advise my own self i know what are the good things in my life what are the bad things in my life when i can distinguish between a good thing and a bad thing when i can control manipulate execute my own thought process maybe at this stage of my life i had lost my childhood producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own yes i have my own thoughts previously i used to be controlled by others i used to take decisions obviously by consulting others but now i don't need so much of consultation i can consult my own mind so definitely i can produce my own thoughts so when i can produce my own thoughts i can use and execute my own thought process and definitely uh, i can uh, i have realized at this stage that my mind was really mine and i can actually choose whichever way i can use my mind so definitely when this realization came perhaps he had lost his childhood now few important word meanings but before that i want to repeat this line or rather to say this stanza once again when did my childhood go was it when i found my mind was really mine to use whichever way i choose producing thoughts that were not those of other people but my own and mine alone was that the day maybe it was that day only when i realized my mind was actually my own and i can execute 
my mind in whichever way I choose. I can uh, advise myself, I can think rationally, obviously with the help of my mind, perhaps at that moment only, I realize that I am no longer a child. Now, few word meanings are very important. Really mine, it means when not influenced by others' opinions. Whichever means any. Producing, obviously it means creating something. Thoughts, thoughts actually, there are multiple meanings of this word. Uh, views also is one meaning, opinions also coming from the poet's mind, all these are related with thought process or thoughts. Now let me actually come to the explanation part. The poet asks the same question again and again, but with different options. As I already told you previously at the very outset of this explanation of this poem that he made a lot of presumptions or guesses because he was not sure when did his childhood went away and what was the day, when and when, when and uh, when did his childhood left him and which on which occasion he was not sure about. So he made a lot of presumptions because uh, he can't come to a fixed conclusion or it was not possible for him to come to a fixed assumption. So he made a lot of presumption or he made a lot of guesses or he made a lot of assumptions we can say. So I repeat, the poet asks the same question again and again, but with different options. He is trying to guess when he actually lost his childhood. Perhaps it was the day when he realized that his mind could think independently, forming his own opinions and being able to take his own decisions. Perhaps he came to the conclusion that his mind his uh, mind can think independently, he can form his own views, he can form his own opinions and he can take his own decisions on his own way. That means he had, a con uh, he had an idea which things are right and which things are wrong. He can take judgment on his own related to his own well-being. So when these processes can be uh, he felt that when these processes he can do on his own with the help of his mind and most importantly when he realized my mind is my own and I can actually uh, move it in whichever way I choose. I can execute my own thoughts in whichever way I choose. Perhaps at that moment he had lost his childhood. He gained a sense of individuality, a personality of his own. That means when he gained a part of his own self-identity, when he actually realized that he also have a uh, self-identity of his own. Maybe at that juncture he lost his childhood. So I repeat, uh, he gained a sense of individuality or in other words, a sense of self-identity which set him free from the preconceived opinions of others and he became totally liberated. He was in chains up to certain extent or up to a certain stage in his life but when he became liberated he was totally free he can control his mind he can use his mind in whichever way he preferred so obviously that gave birth to a sense of individuality in him a sense of self-identity also in him and obviously it sets him free his own individual opinions and experiences shape his thoughts now and he realized that this might have been the time when he lost his childhood innocence completely. Maybe this is the time, this is the main juncture when he lost his childhood innocence totally or rather to say completely. Now I am moving on to the final stanza of the poem. Now here uh, the first line is different. Now he is actually searching for the location. Where exactly did his childhood went? See, where did my childhood go? It went to some forgotten place, oblivion, forgotten place or something related with forgetting something or oblivion. It went to some forgotten place. That's hidden. Hidden means that's concealed in an infant's face. That's all I know. I repeat, where did my childhood go? 
it went to some forgotten place that's hidden in an infant's face that's all i know infant means a newborn child now forgotten means unremembered hidden it is something that is related with concealed or other meaning is a bit lengthy one kept out of sight and see infant i already told you a small child a newborn child so obviously according to him now he is desperately searching for the location where he could find his lost childhood but it seems that he is already in a domain where of forgetfulness he can't remember where exactly it is but whenever he sees the face of an innocent child or a newborn child because a newborn child at the end of the day is an innocent child because he is very much close to god so at that moment only when he sees the face of a newborn child he can realize that there is my childhood and that is all he knows in this stanza the poet changes his question this is a very important thing because previously he used to say when did my childhood go but now he has changes he changed his question in the fourth stanza he is saying where did my childhood go the poet now wonders where his childhood has gone he reflects that maybe his childhood has gone to an unremembered place oblivion or what we can say forgetfulness a zone of forgetfulness he can't remember exactly it is oblivion stage or we can say an unremembered place the poet also says that childhood can be found in the innocent face of a child his childhood he can locate his childhood successfully to a certain extent but he is very much sure of the fact that it won't come back to him permanently because once childhood passed by it passed by forever it can't return back again so whenever he fa- whenever he saw the innocent face of a child he can actually locate his own long lost childhood the childhood face that won't return him return to him back but he can actually feel or he can actually uh, see some glimpses of his long lost childhood when he sees the face of a newborn child or a infant child so i repeat the poet also says that childhood can be found in the innocent face of a child who does not have any pretensions and rationality and who trust others unconditionally because a childhood is phase is a very innocent stage or innocent phase where a child is very much close to god a child doesn't have any pretensions a child doesn't have any sort of rationality behaves in a blinded manner and follows the advice and the guidance of others because a child is very innocent and a child is in its world of innocence in other words and most importantly a child trust others unconditionally unlike an adult obviously because it is a childhood stage and it is a stage when a child is very much close to god and obviously this phase or this stage can be referred as the innocent phase in other words a small child is full of innocence full of innocence and there one can find one's own childhood there only one can find the location of one's own childhood whenever one will see the face of an innocent child because a childhood face for the poet won't be back it is not possible once it went it went forever but definitely glimpses of his own lost long lost childhood can be located by the poet whenever he will see or whenever he sees the face of an innocent child because obviously an infant child is an innocent child and an innocent or an infant child is very much close to god and obviously he is in a world of innocence and he trust everyone unconditionally unlike an adult who always seeks judgment on his own so the important thing is that uh whenever he sees a small child an infant child which is full of innocence he realize that there is his long lost childhood a few glimpses of his own childhood can be felt or can be realized by him but actually he can't get back his childhood that and he regret this he is very much regretful that he can't get back his childhood again so dear students uh, 
I end my audio explanation right here. Please go through this audio presentation. Four stanzas are there in this poem. Uh, kindly listen to this audio presentation very carefully. And if there is any problem anywhere, don't hesitate. Please do ask me. Thank you, students. Thank you all.